Well, I now have the rudder and the elevators done, which is really exciting. The rudder was pretty easy to build because it was basically just tube steel that's welded together. The only thing about it that's a little bit complicated is this back part is 1.25 inches in diameter and uh, this part is 0.5 inches in diameter. So where they meet down here, there's a sort of cone-shaped piece that connects them together. Uh, but other than that, this was pretty easy. The elevators were a little more difficult. Um, you might be wondering why I built the elevators first instead of the horizontal stabilizer. And th there's two reasons behind that. The first is that the ribs for the elevators are really easy to build. They are basically just have straight cap strip on the top. Whereas the ribs for the horizontal stabilizer have a lot of curvature to them because they're the front part of an airfoil. Um, so the elevators were a lot easier to build. Um, so I started out with these. The second reason is if I put the uh, stabilizer on the plane, it would actually outgrow the barn that it's currently stored in. Uh, so I might have to wait a little while until I can build the stabilizer, unfortunately. One interesting thing about the stabilizer um, is that the trailing edge um, is actually made in a whole bunch of different pieces. The straight parts of the trailing edge and the curved parts are separate and joined with scarf joints which makes it a lot easier to build than if it had been one piece. Uh, the only thing that I had to do differently is um, because I'm unable to do steam bending, I had to make the curved parts using lamination. Uh, so I take the ash and cut it up into really thin strips and then I soak it in a bathtub overnight and then I glue and clamp it into a jig um, and that works pretty well as a substitute for steam bending. Um, because of my storage concerns, uh, I think that um, what I'm going to move on to next is probably going to be the landing gear, which will be kind of nice because that'll make the plane a whole lot easier to move around than it is right now. It's been a really long time since I've done this, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, update that list of how much money I've spent. That initial batch of materials where I got the Douglas fir and the white ash and the sheet metal was about $760. And surprisingly, I actually haven't had to buy any of those materials since then. Um, it's lasted a really long time. Although the Douglas fir I have is starting to get a little bit low, so I'll probably have to get another load of that pretty soon. Um, since then, I've spent about $80 on plywood. Uh, maybe a little bit more, but around that much. Um, and the steel that I used to make the bracing wires was $40. Um, the steel that I used to make the tailpost was also included in that batch. The rod ends that I got were $40. Um, I've spent about $50 on T88 epoxy. Um, and the steel that I used to make the rudder was around $20. So I've spent around $1,000 on the project so far. I'm really excited to have the rudder and elevators done, and I'm looking forward to working on the landing gear because I have some ideas for how I think I'm going to do it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching!